All right, welcome everybody. Today we have a very helpful video for you today. Today we're gonna to be talking about troubleshooting clogged HPLC systems. You can tell when you have a clogged system when you try to start up the pumps and boof, the pressure just goes through the roof. Error messages everywhere. You don't wanna just go into a system uh, randomly to try to figure out where the clog is. You normally wanna start from one end and go all the way back to the front. The first thing you want to do is you want to disconnect uh, the line going from the column to the detector. If you disconnect that line and you leak the liquid, the mobile phase coming out of the column into a beaker rather than the detector and the pressure goes down, then you know you probably have a, a clog in the flow cell or something like that inside the detector. The next step would be to disconnect the column. Now a clogged column is probably the most common place for where you're going to have uh, a clog. You flow the mobile phase coming out of the line going into the column, but instead of into the column, it goes into a beaker. And if the pressure drops, then you know, hey, you know, you probably have a clog column. In that case, you want to do a reverse flush on the column. There's going to be a separate video for that down the road. If you disconnect the column and your pressure is still high, another very common culprit is the line going from the six port valve into the column. Now you want to disconnect that and you want to see if the pressure goes down. If the pressure goes down, then it's that line. Instead of chucking that line and getting a new line, a lab hack for you is you could simply turn around that line and plug the other end into the six port valve and blow the clog out the front. Usually when you clog something, it's just at the front of where it's clogged. The clog usually isn't in the middle of a line or middle of a column, and so when you flip around something, you can normally blow the clog out the, out the back. If that line is still clogged, same idea, you disconnect the injection loop, you'll see if the pressure goes down. If the injection loop uh, is the culprit, then you wanna just change that whole loop. If it's not the injection loop, then it's probably the needle. So you can disconnect the needle and check that. And then if it's not the needle, then it's gonna be the lines from the pumps to the mixer and the mixer back to the six port valve. You wanna disconnect those, see if the pressure goes down. Most likely you would have already gotten the clog by then, um, but now you're going all the way back up to the pump. There's really not much where else you can go. The mobile phases are right there and most likely you would have found your clog by then. All right, so I hope that really helped you guys. Go ahead and try it the next time you need a troubleshoot. Um, if this was helpful, comment, like, subscribe. All right, have a great day.